What's up guys, my name is Dicron Kills here on this Destiny 2 video and today we're going to be sh every single time you walk into my shot. I don't... <sighs> While we're in the video, we're going to be showing you the weekly update for January 15, 2019. Something special is burning up here on the top right over here. You can see the little wolf. Or obviously, Iron Banner is going on this week. I'll get to the nitty gritty details about that. Also be showing you what his inventory is like and all the roles at the point when I get to him. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and get on with the regular weekly update. But before we get started, I just wanted to mention a little something that I got last time on... Uh, <laughs> I got last uh, last time, a few days ago, on uh, Last Shattered Throne, and on top of that... Yep! Uh, <laughs> yes, that's right. I finally did it. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and get started with the Nightfalls this week. I apologize, last week I showed you three different Nightfalls that actually weren't there. I do not understand why Bungie shows us things and then just changes them. But I have, in fact, restarted my game after 9 o'clock, the reset time. So this should be right unless they physically change it again. So, anyways, starting up inside Terminus, uh, basically the one with the big Scion boss at the end. And that one drops a sniper, the long goodbye. I've never found this one to be really interesting, but it, it's there for your opportunity if you want it. Um, Lick of Shadows, which is going to be the one with the taken Phalanx in the, uh, at the end. Both of these were PS4 exclusives, by the way, I think. When Lake of Shadows, he drives the Militia, drives. He drops the Militia's Birthright, which is going to be quite useful as it's the only... Um, kinetic primary ammo grenade launcher if you're going for the mountaintop in pvp this is something nice to have because it makes it so you can actually have a kinetic slot or kinetic ammo uh, grenade launcher very nice and lastly exit is crash probably one of the worst strikes in the game right now uh the one with the melee invisible guy at the end um and this one drops a ghost and uh, a sparrow it's like a it's like a blue sparrow i don't i don't know what it's called because <laughs> i've never gotten one i don't want it i gotta say um all of these are not fun. All of these missions are not fun. As for the weekly rotating burn for strikes, heroic adventures, heroic whatevers, it's going to be Arc Sengen today. It's going to be Glass and Grenadier. Just wanted to mention, as far as the daily heroic story missions go, the Deadly Trial is a very fast one. So if you want to do some uh, daily heroic story missions, just thought I'd mention today, Daily Trial is very, very fast. Daily, Deadly Trial is a Deadly Trial. Ain't no thing. Ain't no thing called a deadly trial, it's a deadly trial. As for the weekly rotating playlist for Crucible, it's obviously gonna be Iron Banner, I did mention it before, it's a 6v6 control, and yeah, honestly, that's all there is to it. Oh, oh, on top of that, it is Double Valor right now. And of course, this weekend should be Triple Valor, so if you're looking for some Valor rank ups, uh, Valor is going on with Iron Banner, as well as the fact that uh, if you want to get the special Season 5, is it? Season 5 Iron Banner armor, you gotta go do it. Iron Banner only comes around four times per season. Um, this is the second time, I believe. Don't quote me on that. As for the Flashpoint this week, the Flashpoint is on Titan. Make sure you complete the public events, lost sectors, and heroic adventures to complete the Flashpoint. And the first heroic adventure, adventure, adventure will be worth the most for the percentage. As for the Dreaming City this week, it is in its weakest curse state. So if you have anything you want to do for weakest curses, for example, the Ascendant Chests or the specific Ascendant uh, Challenge, I believe it's in the week two version of the Ascendant Challenge because last week it was the first Ascendant Challenge ever. I believe this week it's going to be the second one. Uh, which I've kind of forgotten what it is. I think it's the one where you go up the mountains and retrieve uh, like the three different balls, bring it to the center, and then you have like infinite super in the center. I think that's what they send a challenge, as well as all the other things in the Dreaming City this week. You know, it might be a good idea to actually mention where that Ascendant Challenge takes place because I can figure it out ahead of time. And of course, a friendly reminder, make sure you go pick up your Spider Bounty for the Powerful Reward if you're going for them. And again, if you are at the maximum level, it's still worth it to go after these bounties because as soon as the next DLC comes, 50 more levels to grind. If you have a bunch of these in your inventory, you can just claim all of them at the same time and get a good boost. So complete these, keep in your inventory if you want to. Um, and of course, get some of those enhancement cores if you want to do those as well. As for Escalation Protocol this week, it will be the SMG because last week was the shotgun and next week will be the sniper. After that's all three, then all three. As for the Prestige Leviathan loadout this week, the Arms Master's Hand Cannon Sniper, anything as well as Prism, where your attacks uh, start to rotate and you do more damage every once in a while. This is an ideal build. I have to be honest with you. A hand Cannon Sniper Rifle and anything where you can obviously have your Whisper or whatever rockets if you want them. This is a very powerful combo, and Prism is probably my favorite of them because it's the most consistent. You can use it with pretty much any loadout. This is probably the week you want to do the Prestige Leviathans if you haven't done them already. Oh, hey, etched engrams. Might as well claim them in the video. It'll be like a loot box opening, except for, like, we don't care what we get because it's... It's... <laughs> it's just these items that I don't care about. If it's not exotic, oh, I don't even look at it. Anyways, let's, let's go ahead and talk about Ever vs. Inventory today. Got a couple of interesting things for you guys today. Just going to scroll across the bottom of these in case you were interested in what they are. This ship is going to be Odrir. 
looks very similar to some of the other ships so i'm not particularly interested uh, obviously the ghost shell is random uh the ornament here will be class specific so i'm on my uh, hunter so i see a hunter i believe it'll always be a headpiece though uh, so pretty much any headpiece might be insurmountable skull fart one or the, the titan i don't know moving across here you got the bygones you got a cold heart you got a couple different things here i don't really like this um shader but i'll go ahead and show you what it is yep yep <laughs> yeah it sucks let's go ahead and take a look at the bundle because i don't think i've seen this bundle whoa these are different seems like we've got some iron banner rejection i don't know if these are contained in iron banner right now if they're only available in this bundle uh, but obviously these projections are going to be protected above your ghost um, if you get this of course make sure you go ahead and claim your level four bounty this week make sure you get your prismatic facet uh, thing so you can use it on the prismatic mesa ma matrix all you do is a challenge for the week and you can use it to get a random item in this list i have every item apparently which is not true i'm a bit skeptical of that because i do believe i haven't gotten the ahamkara arms that used to be right here last week so i don't know what this is i thought before i i seem to remember before if you don't have all the items in the list you can still use it to get an item that you don't have but apparently that's not the case as far as the things in here the bronco uh, is that tuckleberry looking thing you've got the um the one for the polaris lance ornament here i thought this looks like i kill us at first i thought it was an ornament for that so i got a little excited for that uh you got your obvious different chest um your, your whatever you, you know what's going on here there's really uh, nothing to be talking about hey 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 we got a little bit of a loot box opening here full of items that i've never cared about and never will care about all right thanks cryptarch all right moving on let's go ahead and talk about iron banner this week i actually have gotten all these for my hunter so it's not really a good point to, to talk about these ones but let's go ahead and talk about it the bounties are obviously here again if you haven't completed them last time they have reset and give you another opportunity to get powerful gear obviously iron banner is um level uh, advantage is enabled so if you're a little bit low you're gonna have a little bit more difficulty uh, but there's still a whole bunch of them that you can get very easily if you work with your teammates as well as just doing matches and getting wins uh, it's not too hard as far as the rolls for the armor pieces i'm fairly certain they're the same as before however uh, the weapons might have changed slightly the hero's burden how has kill clip i don't think it had it before the sniper rifle has snapshot opening opening shot which is not the best uh, that you can possibly have um, but obviously that's not bad you know having kill clip having snapshot both of these perks are pretty decent and um, I'm actually not sure if these are not randomized again but I don't know e either way this is Iron Banner this is Lord Saladin that's the Iron Banner anybody want to put bets on the Midnight Coup not being in his inventory <laughs> I'm putting 20 down let's see it <laughs> Benedict, inventory, I'll scroll across them in case you were interested, but you can see the symbol in the top left, doesn't really matter. Uh, Ghost Primus, a, a decent auto rifle, but there's a lot more auto rifles out there that are better than it because you have random rolls and more columns on it, so ignore Benedict, he sucks. Anyways, let's go ahead and talk about Hawthorne, I'm just going to quickly go across the top here and show you the different dailies and the weeklies, and then go over to the raid challenges in case you were interested. Now, first up on the raid challenges, keep out, which will be the Last Wish Raid Vault Encounter. Basically, keep the main Yellow Health Knights out of the middle circle area and you'll be able to get this challenge uh next up you have the all for one one for all i believe this is the second encounter basically the encounter right before the boss uh basically everybody has to um dunk every color at least once so every person has to dunk all three colors the way you do that is you send three people down they each get one color come up dunk that into each one of the different things have the other three go down get one color each they go dunk one in each of the different things tank spawn and that means every person has done uh, one of the colors once and i believe every person has to do one of the colors three times or something like that uh, it's it's kind of complicated but uh, once you get it down it's just kind of a flow and it's it's really quite straightforward anyways let's go ahead and talk about ada gonna quickly go across the top for the dailies in case you're interested in the dailies obviously the weeklies are the same each time i have a couple of these picked up because i'm still in my inventory because i haven't claimed them at all as far as the weapon frames go you have the powerful machine gun you have the sword and you have the pulse rifle so if you want to get any one of these they are here this week in case you were interested and one note i might make is the sword has a chance to have surrounded on it probably the highest damaging uh, buff that a sword can have right now and probably the highest damaging sword because of that i got my first one with surrounded so i never need to do it again and in case you're interested this is what the second page looks like if you haven't done some of the burgusia forage you have the opportunity to get some of these to get more armor pieces in case uh the doing the two weapons each week was annoying you can use this to get more armor pieces from completing weapons and on top of that the obsidian radiance make sure you do not use the obsidian accelerator 
Give the Obsidian Accelerator to her. It's glitched right now. It says use. Don't use it. Anyways, that's pretty much it. That's the video for guys today. That's the reset for the 15th of January 2019. And that's it. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions. Let me know if I have missed anything. Of course, my name is Midnight Chronic. And of course, I hope you guys did enjoy. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.